Hey guys, it's Heather from Kella Plan, and in this video, we are going to be talking about my top five favorite things to track in my memory planner. Memory planning is coming back. The Happy Planner just released these gorgeous memory keeping journals. Um, they're a little bit different than the way uh, we used to memory keep, which you could still do the other way too, where we did it in a planner. This is more like a journal. It comes with four dividers. I think I'm actually going to do this by season. So I'm going to do spring, summer, fall, and winter of one year um, in the journal. That's what I plan on doing. But in this particular video, I'm not going to teach you how to do that. I'm going to show you my top five favorite things to put in my memory planner because some people will tell me that they don't live an exciting life or they don't have anything cool going on so they don't know what to put in their memory planner so in this video i'm going to show you some different my top five favorite things that you can track in your memory planner even if you don't have like a crazy life so this is my memory planner from a long time ago this is from 2016. So one thing I like to track in my memory planner, at least I used to, is my Instagram post. So if you are involved in the planner community or any other kind of Instagram community, you could put photos of your Instagram photos. So these are photos that I took back in 2016 for my Instagram. It's so cool to go back and look at them. And I did this every month for a while. Um, so it's just really cool to be like, oh my gosh, look at the kind of photos I used to take. Look what I was doing on my Instagram back then. You can see this month I didn't do it every single day. That's okay. Um, but this was something I did on the monthly. Now the new journals don't have monthly views, but you could still do something like this if you just wanted to track some of your favorite pictures from your Instagram account. So this is something you could track even if you don't have anything crazy exciting going on in life. So that is from 2016. That was my very first memory planner. Um, this one is from 2017. It's very thick. This is a 12 months of memory planning, but I want to show you some of, uh, some of my other favorite things to put. So one thing you're going to notice that I did a lot was my Starbucks drinks. It's like, here's a Starbucks drink. Um, here's a coffee. It's not, or a hot chocolate. It's not necessarily Starbucks. Um, and then here's a Starbucks drink. So that was, that's something easy that you can do. Snap a photo of your coffee. Here's another one of me and my sister drinking coffee. Um, so just snapping photos of your coffee is another fun thing to put in your planner because we all, well, I, I guess we don't all drink coffee, but we all get fun drinks every so often. And that's a fun thing to track in your planner. Here's me with some sangria. So even if it's not coffee, just like whatever you're drinking. Here's us with a milkshake. It's just fun little memories uh, that you could put in your planner. Here's me with wine. I obviously like to memory keep what I'm drinking like all the time. So that's another fun thing to put in your planner. Here I Here's another thing of wine. So, so far we have Instagram photos and what you're drinking. Those are two fun things that you can put in your planner even if you don't have a crazy exciting life. Here's us again with our drinks. Like I literally do that all the time. Obviously another thing you can put in your memory keeping planner or journal is trips. So this particular week we went on vacation for my 30th birthday. This was from several years ago and I got to see, I think this one's for my 30th birthday. Yeah, this was my 30th birthday. We went to my family's beach condo and I got to see a ton of different friends down there that week um, and it was just a ton of fun so obviously this is something that I'm not gonna include in the top five because I'm trying to give you things that aren't necessarily big and exciting but obviously if you have big trips that can go in your journal as well okay all right so another thing that I like to put in my memory keeping is things that I'm buying so like here we bought a vacuum cleaner. Like that's kind of boring, but it's kind of fun to look back and be like, oh, look, this is when we got that vacuum cleaner. We apparently got an amazing deal on it. That's so fun. And then I bet if we flip through here, we can find other things that I've bought, like these cups. I bought these cups and wanted to show them. Um, let's see here. Well, I thought I would have a ton of things that I bought, but apparently not. But, so 
So things you bought. That'll be number three. The fourth one is going to be things you eat. So we all snap photos of things that we're eating. Like here, breakfast for dinner. Um, here, we got popsicles. So this kind of ties into things you're drinking, but things you're eating. So here... We had torchies twice this weekend. Here's another drink. Here's another coffee. You see, I do that all the time. Um, but those are easy photos that you can snap on a normal day and then have it to put in your memory keeping journal. So things you drink, things you eat, things you buy, things you post on Instagram. That's four of like basic life things that you can put in your planner. The fifth thing um, that I put in my planner pretty often is things you're wearing now if you're not really into fashion then this might not interest you but i really love clothing i own a boutique so i just love snapping photos of what i'm wearing so here i'm wearing halloween leggings with my friend here's a cute outfit here's a cute outfit that i took a picture of oh here's a photo of something i bought going back to what we bought um here's outfit photos lots of outfit photos i took i took lots of outfit photos and this also, I think, motivates you to dress cute and have a cute outfit so that you could take pictures. Like, look at all these outfit photos that I have. Um, another outfit photo. Now, part of the reason I have so many outfit photos is probably because I own a boutique. So I need those photos. But um, it's also just a fun thing to track in your journal. So, like, just looking, it's funny, at this one spread... Um, and the things that the tips that I've given you on what you can include in your photos or in your journals. So I've said things you drink, things you eat, things you buy, what you're wearing. And then the other tip was Instagram photos. So it's funny because this one spread has four of the five that I mentioned to y'all. Um, so just a few tips of things that you could put in your memory keeper, memory planner, memory journal, whatever you want to call it even if you don't live a super crazy life. Basic things, think things that you wanna remember in the future. All right, I hope these tips help. I'd love to hear in the comments what are some basic things that you like to take photos of to put in your own memory keeper. Um, drop them in the comments so that everyone has like one place that they can look for ideas because I know it can be hard to figure out what to put in your memory planner. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.